Good day, guys. And welcome back. Today, we're going to be having a look at the CV90105 TML, or the Combat Vehicle 90105. No Swedish name for this one. This is a light tank at battle rating 9.0 at rank 6, the Swedish tech tree. It is a premium um, vehicle, so I think it costs about 60 US dollars. Um, I bought it with mainly a gift card that I got given, so it's basically free, so not going to complain about that. It has a 105mm um, CN 105G2 cannon. Um, I'm not sure what cannon this is, whether this is like an L7 variation or something like that. Um, uh, it's um, For its gun, you have the M735 round, which is a um, which is the higher penetrating APFSDS round that this thing receives, but it doesn't have that good of an angled pen. You do also get DM 503s with 502s, sorry, which is um, some Hesh with 127, 10, or 110 and 63 mils of pen at their angles respectively. You got DM uh, 12s with its 400, um, 346 and 200 mil pen, and then you got your DM 23s, which at 500 meters at 30 degrees has 286 mil pen. So this is the APFS DS I recommend using. At on flat angles, it does have less penetration, but against angles, it does have more, which is what you'll be versing more. It does also have smoke grenades, um, uh, a laser rangefinder, uh, and Gen 2 thermals for the commander and the gunner. So your binos. That allows this thing to be allowed to spot vehicles very well. And it also does get scouting, I forgot to add as well. And also has a coaxial um, 7.62mm KSP uh, 58 machine gun, um, which, you know, maybe kill a gas truck, I don't know, or someone popping out of a thing. You have a turret rotation speed of 25.3 uh, degrees a second, so it's an okay turret rotation speed, it's pretty good. You have a vertical guidance of minus 7 and positive 20. So, you know, you can shoot up enough to shoot at helicopters and you can work rid li ridge lines okay with 7 degrees. You do also have a reload rate of 7.7 .7 seconds. It's not the fastest, not the slowest. Um, it's definitely not as fast as, say, the 103s or something like that, but it's definitely not a terrible reload. It does also have a two-plane um, two stabilizer, which is um, quite helpful um, when it comes to shooting on the move and whatnot. And the tight rotation speed should be able to keep up with your track traverse. So if you use a track traverse, it should about double it, as from my experience. I forgot to add. For armor, there isn't much. Um, uh, the, if only this um, mantlet here was uh, five millimeters thicker, the turret wouldn't be able to get hull broken. But sadly, as all light vehicles, this vehicle can most definitely get hull broken. It's not as bad as, say, the MGS's or the 120 version of this, but it certainly does get hull broken quite often, um, especially by 120 mils, even uh, 105s quite often. It has a crew of four, so you got your you got your driver. Oh come on, you got your driver down here. You got your uh, loader, commander, and gunner. So you can, if you survive, get hit in the hull and you don't get hull broken, you maybe survive, but you know, you're not really going to survive too many shots in this thing. You weigh 21.9 tons with, with 550 horsepower, so you are pretty fast, um, reasonably mobile. You can get around the map pretty easily, you don't tend to struggle too much. Um, You'll be ahead of most of your allies, and that does allow you to get some scouting off. Um, with a max speed of 70 kilometers an hour. For arcade, it does have visibility of 15, 115%, but again, I don't play arcade, so who cares? Um, for camos, we have standard um, high tier Swedish camouflage, which is the uh, summer, what is it, tricolor camouflage? Yeah, it looks like a tricolor. Then we have the desert camouflage late for 511 kills, urban deforming for 200 golden eagles, that looks pretty good, and if you put the scale all the way up, or up to about that, 100% I think that's what it's meant to be, looks quite nice, 
Tricolor Winter Deforming Camouflage for 730. That looks pretty good as well. I love the Swedish Top Deer Camouflages. Um, Unicolor Winter. Didn't definitely expect it to see this one here. Um, 200 Golden Eagles for the Unicolor. And Quadricolor Deforming for another, another one for 200 Golden Eagles. So basically like the stock camo just with another color. Looks pretty good. Alrighty guys, let's get into some battles and see what we can do. Okay, here we go. On Poland. Let's turn all those thermals on. Alrighty. Gonna head up to the site. We're on Dominate on Conquest 2. So the cap's down here. Gonna head up over here, see what we can do. Let's check the sniper hill, shall we? Alright. Hello, hello chat. Don't know if you know, but I can see you very easily. Oh, hello chat. I'm about to get killed, I'm about to get killed. Oh no, he got hit. Oh, he's dead. I was only a 1D, so he didn't have thermals. Uh, I thought it was a, a 105. Oh, come on, smoke up! I need to allow you to smoke in binos and stuff. Because it's really annoying on binos, and I keep going to smoke, and you can't. I also need to fix the smokes on this. It's meant to be different. Let's repair. 20 second repair, not too long. Jeez, my armrest is a bit squeaky. Blue screws unscrew every now and then. Oh, we have a Huey. Can I get a range on him? 1900. Oh, that was, that was close. Okay, what's the range on him now? 1300. <gasps> no! No, no. Please reload, 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 reload. We've only got two crew members. That went through him. He's got a 40 mil. Oh no. There we go. MGing him. Oh, he got an assist. Job to get five. Okay. Now, let's do what the tanks should actually do. <laughs> Instead of just repairing and shooting in helicopters. Hello, friends. See if I can. Oh, yeah, I forgot we've got Bino Rangefinder now. Is it really 2,500 over there? About to say. About 1,000 over there. Oh. No. <laughs> you, got, you got one of the hardest nuts to crack there. There we go. Loader on XM1. Luckily he missed. Let's scout him. Okay, tank out back. Oh, that's HUD. Alrighty, Sergeant York down. Sergeant Bjork is way better, mate. You should get yourself a Bjork. <laughs> Tank. No, that's just the XM1 waiting on me. Hello. Oh, yeah. No. That was a really dumb decision to push out. Alrighty. Let's get another battle. Okay, here we go on Middle East. At 9.3, because, you know, always versing the XM1s. Uh, we're against the Americans, British, and Japanese, and we have the Germans and the Russians on our team. Anybody I know? No, not by the looks of it. No. 
tank. Oh. Come on, Thermal, stay on. You absolute nitwits. Where'd that XM1 go? I saw an XM1. Oh, let's just push before we get cut off. But nice early first kill on that Merkva. What type of Merkva was it? Was it Merkva Mark 1 or Mark 2? Uh, or Mark 2B, so that's always a better one to get. If you guys want to see a Merkva Mark 1 and Mark, and Mark 2B video all in one, tell me in the comments because I've got both of them and I could get a video for both of them done in about in a lot quicker. Oh, hello, Rad. How you doing, bud? Oh, Run. Mm. Okay. <laughs> I don't know how he got out of that. It shows the reverse speed though. It's got a pretty good reverse gear. Whew. Sorry if I wasn't talking there. I was absolutely freaking out. Whew. I do not know how I got out of that situation. But I hear him advancing. And my teammates aren't shooting him. Okay, we got tight rotation back. Alrighty. So he just killed a teammate. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Alright, let's move, 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 move. Where is he at? Oh, there he is. If you're wondering why the SL rewards are so high, I have a booster on. Okay, you can't push. Right, yeah, just, let's just push him, Red Moon. You can't kill two of us. Oh, good job. Alrighty. He's dead, bud. He's dead. Alrighty. After that minor inconvenience. <laughs> Whew. That uh definitely got my heart racing out. I'm gonna I'm gonna do a bit of a rock climb. I haven't done one in a while. Probably will end up I know you can do it up here. I don't know how to though. I actually you know I do know how to, it's just been a long time since I've done it. And they could have easily patched it. But I don't think they have. They're not like a world of tanks, they don't try and stop you from climbing on terrain. There we go. Oh, Oh, no. No, we need some more speed for that. There we go. Tank. How'd that not spot him? <sighs> Come on, get up the rock, get up the rock. Okay, STB1. That's like sort of unfair. Versus thermal, Gen 2 thermals versus an STB1. Oh, hello. Hello, boy. 1300. Whoa. Type 74G. Serves you right, you little premium boy. Hmm, can't see anybody more. They do own the sea cap. 
and nobody owns uh, the B cap. Okay, I don't want to be shooting into their spawn, that's why I pushed up on the rock. But. I can't just let the SPAA shoot down all our planes. Uh, do I, do I not? Tank right there. 1300. Right there. Saw him fire. No way my artillery can reach. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah, so he's firing right there. God, reload's so long. So I'm tempted to go to get another crew member. How much of their team's left? Yeah, let's go get a new crew member. Alrighty, let's go. Oh, don't flip. Okay. Oh, Three kills and an assist, not too bad. Okay. Helicopter, is it MI4? This is, oh, and there is also a plane up. Oh, MI4, got him! Oh, what a legend! Alrighty, let's get that crew member back real quick. Hmm. Alright, let's get him back. Let's get Sven back. Let's reload the smoke as well. Even though that smoke screen doesn't really cover me. Because Gaijin doesn't know how to design the smoke screen properly. Oh, hello. <laughs> it's always weird seeing people drive below you. Alright, let's go. I really wish, like, the overpass is on, um... On port, on um, whatever, yeah, is it port, whatever that map is, like worked, like you could go up on them, they unblocked them. So add such an interesting characteristic to the game. Right, okay, oh, okay, I just got shot with an ATGM from behind. Is it the hot? Or is there actually someone back here? I'm just gonna say it was the hot. Okay, they have a TTS up. Alrighty, let's um go and have a look for him. Okay, looks like they got some issues up at uh, Charlie. Yeah, let's head up there. I'm not gonna pop artillery because that's how I get team kills, and I do not want that. And um, we just have a rad camp for I can just chilling in their spawn, you know. See, they're capturing C, and he's just sitting in their spawn. Ah, oh, that just infuriates me. Let's push out so we're not on their radar. Where is it? Okay. They killed the Cheetah Mark III. And the H1G's down as well. Alrighty. Where'd that TTS go though? Oh, I know where he is. He's up in that sniping position, isn't he? The okay, he's behind me, he's over here. Oh no. Alrighty. Not a bad battle. Alrighty. Not a bad battle at all. 9k RP. Go towards the slightly bigger CV90. <laughs> Alrighty guys, there you have it. The CV90 105 TML. It's a quite a capable light tank. Su survived actually a surprising amount of shots actually. I really didn't expect to survive that many shots. It was pretty impressive. But yeah.
And so my ability was really good. I forgot to t talk about the reverse gear, but the reverse gear was actually was actually pretty good. Uh, yeah, there you go. 43k an hour backwards, and you do get to that pretty fast. Alrighty, guys. Don't forget to um, leave a comment if you want to see that Merkava video that I talked about with both the Merkavas. Other than that, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next episode.